Okay, welcome back to part two. We're going to continue and we're going to extrude out this portion over here. But first we need to join it together. So J for join. And then I'm going to select the individual components and press enter to convert the four objects into a polyline. Now we can extrude it out and the total distance is 32 plus 32 plus 3. So that's a total of 67. So EXT, enter, and I'm going to select that as well as this inner circle here and press enter and go out a total of 67 units. So I'm going to click that once and then press escape twice. Now in the middle here we have this little portion that's also been cut out and we need to essentially draw that into place. So we're going to use this line here as reference so we're going to at least try to. I'm going to press L for line and it looks like it does work. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to go up vertically and then to the side here since I'm going in one half, I'm not going to use the complete three. I'm just going to use half of that. So 1.5, enter. And then I'm going to go back down to where the line was being held. And it actually has to go a little beyond that. So I'm going to click a little beyond that. Then I'm going to kind of go to the side, 1.5, enter, and then back up and combine both of those together. So it looks something like that. Doesn't really matter how much far up and down you go. Okay, I'll use the join tool to join all of these lines together. Enter. And then I'm going to use the copy tool, CO, to copy that object, enter, from there over to there. So that when we cut that out, we're left with that hole in between. So EXT, enter, select both portions, enter. You want to go out at least the distance of the object. So I'm going to go out 50, which should be more than enough to clear the object as well as that other side. And now we can cut that out by using our subtract command. So SUB, enter, and we're going to first subtract this circle here. So I'm going to go bigger, enter, smaller, enter, and we've cut that out. Now to subtract the top part, we're going to have a few things kind of interfering in the way, so we're going to merge a few items together. I'd like you to use the union command, U-N-I for union, press enter, and I would like you to select that object there, this one here, this object over there, and then the outside object here. And then lastly, we're going to select this object over there. Okay, so five objects total. I'm going to press enter and it should have fused them all together. Okay, so we're going to also, for this inner shape here, you might notice it doesn't quite extend outside the range of the object, but that might be okay. It's actually hard to tell, but I'm guessing it's not. So I'm going to select that and move out just a little bit more. And then let's go ahead and subtract it. So SUB enter and I'm going to select the complete outer enter and subtract it from the inner enter okay so if we take a look at our shaded view you should notice that that has for the most part been cut out now we got to cut out finally this portion so SUB for subtract enter I'm going to select the big portion enter and then subtract the two smaller portions and enter again so it's been cut out and it looks something like this. and we're going to extend this back portion here it does look a little bit shallow so i'm going to switch back over to 2d wireframe and select that but it selects the entire thing now so i'm just going to hold on the control key select both those elements two red dots are going to appear i'm going to click on the red dots exped, extend to the midpoint here and then select that if you do it correctly it should extend it accordingly so it essentially matches the object okay so that's looking great let's go ahead and add in some fillets we'll start by merging everything together so if there's any lines you want to get rid of you're more than welcome to like these lines over here you know we won't need them anymore so feel free to select and delete them but let's unionize everything so you and i enter, select everything, enter, and now everything should be fused together.
to add in the fillet, fillet edge is going to be the best option. So press F, go to the second option, fillet edge, then R for radius, enter. And over here it says it has a radius of 16. So 1, 6, enter, and then I need to specify the edge. So that edge there, rotate it twice, and that edge there. So make it look like that, then press enter, and then enter again to accept that fillet edge. Okay. So I'm going to press escape twice and do that again with these corner pieces. And the corner pieces have a radius of 6. So F, go to fillet edge, R, enter, 6, enter, and then 1, 2, rotate to this side, 3, 4, enter, enter. Just like that. So that pretty much concludes the object. To get rid of any scrap lines, what I'd recommend is just moving the object, enter the slightly to right next to it. And if there's any remnant lines, you can more than happily delete them. So I just have that one over there. So delete that. And to make it look like this one, I'm going to change it from 2D wireframe over to shaded. And it looks like I was actually a little bit short on this portion here. So that's going out 32. But I actually just measured it, and this was 31 or 30.5, and this was 33.5. So I went out too far with this one, too short with that one. Not a big deal. Uh, if you hold down the, if you press EXT, enter, then hold down the control key, you can select that surface again. Press enter. And I want you to just go out from the part and type in 1.5, enter. That's going to push it out 1.5. Then I would like you to kind of do the same with the bottom, EXT, enter, hold it at the bottom portion, press enter, and just go into the shape like so. Okay, so now that's been merged, it won't actually influence anything. And then we can kind of do the same trick over here. Okay, and I'm going to adjust that, EXT, enter, holding down the control key, I'm going to select that surface, press enter. And I'm just going to go out 1.5 units. So it's sticking out a little bit further, but I want to do that so I can actually just move it into place. So M for move, enter, select that, enter. And I turned off my snap settings, so I'll turn it back on. And I'll just use endpoints for now. I move that endpoint over to that endpoint, like so. So it looks like I created an extra solid there. I'll delete that one and then subtract SUB, enter, bigger one, enter, from smaller one, enter. Okay, so that's been subtracted. Now I just need to repair the circle. And the quickest way will probably be to extrude out the front. So EXT, enter, hold down control, click on the front portion, enter. And I just want you to extend it out to the distance of the part. So I'm going to click on this endpoint there, press escape twice, and now taking a look at it, we're going to join everything together. U and I, enter, select everything, enter. And then I'm going to move it, M, enter, this portion, enter, and I'm going to move it to over here and delete the scraps. Okay, so that's looking a lot better. And there is your object. So sorry for the little walk around there, but you know, troubleshooting is an important part of this process as well. And that's going to conclude this video tutorial. Hopefully you found it useful. And this Mr. Z signing out. Peace.